Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're talking about that marvelous payment. And right now, we're trying to get behind the idea of the blood of Jesus and find out why it is significant. And one of those things that we need to understand, we need to have a balanced view of the character of God. He's holy, He's perfect. We sin and we need redemption. And that that sin separates man from God. Romans chapter 11, verse number 22, Paul says, Consider the goodness and the severity of God. A passage that really illustrates this to us is found in 2 Samuel chapter 6. David, the great king of Israel, has decided that they're going to move the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. And they make this plan, and we read in 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 3, twice we read a phrase. They're going to move the Ark of the Covenant. It's quite a journey. They're going to move it on a new cart. Now that's rather interesting because the reality is that the sons of Kohath, they were the ones authorized to move the items of the tabernacle. But instead of having the Kohaths move it as they're instructed with, with staves or rods through rings in the side of the Ark of the Covenant, they're going to move it on a new cart. And as they're moving it on this new cart, the oxen stumble when they come to the threshing floor of Nashon. And one of the drivers, Uzzah, becomes greatly concerned. And he reaches up to steady the Ark of the Covenant. And as a little boy, I can remember studying this and thinking to myself, it just doesn't seem fair what happened because what happens is we read in verse number 7 of 2 Samuel 6 that God was angry with him. His anger was kindled, and God struck him there for his error, and he died there by the ark of God. But he was just trying to do what seemed reasonable. But God says, you don't touch the ark of the covenant. And we need to, someone says, boy, that sure does seem severe. We need to understand the severity of God. God cannot ignore sin. Well, how is it going to be reconciled? That's the, why, the reason why there is the marvelous payment, the precious blood of Jesus. Let's talk about this some more tomorrow on your daily 180.